Dollar question. So we're pulling up. We're, fun fact, 86% through top 32 right now. So it was Jazo who sent him down. Good good memory there on that. But going back to PS2, we see Peeve and Peeve and Vendetta, and the other losers match is Mugen and Moxie. It looks like they're playing over here. But already an aggressive start. We The last time we saw Jazo play PP was very aggressive to land with air shooters, but now you can see he's a little more reserved to play against Vendetta, and I wonder if it's specifically because of the short, the shock move versus the multi-hits on Vendetta. I yeah, mean, I'm on interested. 10, rather. Uh, or maybe it's like, you know what, dude? I was feeling myself on that Ryu last set. You know, mm -hmm. I actually brought it back into... I'm going to be straight up honest with you, man. Uh, to me, the Shoto, like, uh, Ken or Ryu versus Steve does not look like a very winnable matchup. Like, I don't say a lot of things are like 70-30, but that, that look like it's like 60-40 minimum. Um, so, making it all the way back on Ryu, winning a game on Ryu in a situation like that, I, I think that you're just like, hey, let's stick with what's working. And right now, it's, it's working out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, doing a great job right now of pinning down Keith. The only time I think I would be truly nervous is once he finally does establish that full solid wall of neutral. We can see right now doing a good job of just setting up this pressure using the air shooter, making it very hard for Vendetta to land. I think one of the ideas that it, it's going to be very difficult for Vendetta to try and reestablish is just land, landing in general. Like, look, 121% basically without too much of an answer, and then Tatsu into his death. A grab and back throw. A good setup so far for Peeb. Yes, it is. Is where did that crash bomb go? I think he might have air dodged it. Oh, that makes sense. There you go. I was wondering. I was like, because he put it right back on Peeb, and I think in the blast zone where it was, it would have killed it. So, oh, for sure. Yeah, good air dodge there from Peeb to be able to, to knock that out. I, I think again, if you're playing Mega Man, you're very well aware of how to avoid those. But I just wanted to make sure all that. But it doesn't matter. Here is Tatsu is going to get the stock, and Vendetta's keeping keeping this relatively even, only a 9% lead here for Peepa. Yeah, only a 9% lead, but again, we saw once he does get those aerial strings up, it's so hard for Vendetta to make it back to the ground and surmount any percentage lead. We talked last time about the threat radius around each of these characters, but Vendetta has a much larger radius than someone like Ken because of the shock here. And again, show just so hard to get back to the ground, and he's doing such a good job of covering these landing options on this, against Ryu. That he is, is deep here. Mm -hmm. Trying to find his way up and in, trying to continue to rack this percentage up. We've talked about it before because we've seen this matchup on stream right before. Well, it was Ken, but you know, it's the same concept. You, you, got, you got to keep them away with that pellet. You got to keep that threat range just a little bit further out as coming in with the leaf shield, which can be such a deadly tool in this matchup. But Ryu starting to take some part of the stage with Detta here. Pressuring that shield, gets some percentage on, and is continuing to just look and threaten to see if he can find that Shoryu or that Tatsu for the kill. Yeah, finding good ways to get so much pressure and just at least extend their advantage. One thing that we've seen do very well is I think, holy smokes, just exploded from that air shooter into the fair. Jazo did a good job of just holding on to the stocks against that combo, but I think Peeve might have adjusted the percentages at which he's going for that kill percentage, for that kill, <laughs> and oh my gosh, Mega Man's fat, he just lived that combo. <laughs> Doing a very good job overall of just staying alive. And one thing, Shope, I want to say is he hasn't really been using Leaf Shield that much to his advantage. No, I, you know, I thought I would see it a little bit more in this matchup here, but we haven't seen it so far. Mm -hmm. uh, we've called it up a couple of times that it has been used, but right now, he's really kind of focusing more on the pellets, just trying to keep them away. Um, as Again, small lead for the side of uh, Peepnut here as we go into the last stock of game one. Yeah, doing a really good job of just finding and establishing that pressure. To onto Ryu. I think one thing that Peep has done better, specifically against Vendetta, is utilizing the Metal Blade rather as a deterrent for where he's aggressing. It's where he was or where he wants to be. Kind of like how he's putting it at a jumping angle rather than at an angle on the ground that covers horizontally. The Tatakins have been really, really good for uh, Vendetta as well. I think that might be another reason that he's going for the Ryu here. He's getting a lot of poke damage mm -hmm. off. And so, uh, able to just kind of combat some of that distance and range of the Mega Man with a projectile of his own. Yeah, and doing a phenomenal job at that. And this could be the stock. And up, up, and away. He just Peep rides off. It out. 
in unceremonial fashion too. No cut ending screen, nothing like that. Just that wind box going, blowing you off the top mm -hmm. there. So Peepnut takes game number one here in Vendetta, man. I got to say, I do not envy a man in his situation. You come through a Steve set where you've got to play some of the most patient gameplay of your life and convert on every opportunity you have into what I would consider like beta Steve right before he came into the game where you got to play that kind of patience against Mega Man, right? Because he's trying to <laughs> sort of set up in the same way with sort of a sort of same zony campy play style a lot of times. Right. Um, uh, but either way, uh, going to really be testing his mental fortitude here as he is down one game. Yeah, doing a really good job right now, just finding any way to continue this extension. What I do think Vendetta could do in terms of adjustment is the same type of way we saw Jazzo breaking in with those new, with the strong nares, is finding a way to almost pop Peeve up using that nair and then finding the extension, whether it's through an up tilt or a top suit. We may not get the continuation because of the multi hits, but that was what Jazzo exploited to such great degree in his set against Peeve. 100% right now, though, Peeve is just hooking with Peep Nuttle as he <laughs> <laughs> gets the back air off the side of the stage. <laughs> he's really frying him up right now yeah. with that Peep Nut oil. <laughs> Chick fil A special coming in, baby. <laughs> frying him up. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he is just on a roll right now. Well, there's the leaf shield that we were, that we were so direly looking for, but. Not sure you still not closing out. Man, he that, there must have been an upgrade to Mega Man. He's a little bit heavy. Oh, never mind. I spoke yeah. too soon. Yeah, no, no, it didn't come through. The, the third one didn't come through right there. Just that one upgrade. So able to live, but good conversion from Vendetta yet again to be able to take that stock right back. And the Flame yeah. Sword right here looking more like a shield because it's just eating up uh, any projectile that Reeves throwing out. Yeah, it's also just deterring the Shakus, which are those red fireballs yes. that we're constantly seeing. Those multi-hits are so deter, they're so bad against shield. They just chew through and just do so much damage. He really can't shut them down with the pellets. We've seen it right there where you, the pellet just essentially trades out with it. One of the things that I think he needs to do a little bit better is go back to that approach of just send Vendetta up and keep him juggled. Yeah. He had so much success in game one of just keeping him juggled and never letting him get to the ground. Because when Vendetta gets this wall of shock who's up, what are you going to do? Are you going to aggress against him? That's exactly what he wants, because then it leads to stuff like this. Yeah, exactly. The Shakus have been really, I think, the turning point here in this one is the Tatsu gets the kill in Peepnut. Uh, despite a good win in game one, is looking a little bit lost right now into this part of game two. Needs to get an early stock here, and this is exactly what you're asking for. See if you can get these aerials, this up air strings going. This time going to be, I think that was a four air or neutral Ooh. air, but he gets the spot on the down air, and Peepnut basically evens this thing right back up. Here's a string going, baby. Down air into the grab. Can he get the spike? No, he's not. But crazy amounts of damage and a little bit of style coming out from Peepnut. Look, Peep's saying he's not going to go go out of this without without showing his full mastery of Mega Man. What a Get him out of here, baby! Let's go yet again! He just rides him up with the up air, and you can see Vendetta's look on his face. Again, no kill animation. You don't need it. Just blow him off the stage, and Peeve Nut comes from behind to take a 2-0 lead. What a call-out on the jump by Peeve Show. It is so, so, such a testament to Peeve's situational awareness. You want to talk about... I'm from New York, Show. Yeah. When I grew up, there was a amazing closer back in those days. And I'm sure you know this name. Mariano Rivera. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't here come, talk about the Yankees. Yeah, we don't want to talk about the Yankees, but you want, <laughs> you want, you want, you want to talk about Sandman, the closer? It's Peeb right now. You're right. He is closing out these games, man. Uh, very much a similar vibe as... Hey... What was, uh, what was uh, Mariano's best pitch? That cutter? Those air shooters coming yeah. right back out, man. Cutting exactly, through him, man. knocking him off the top of the stage. And so this time saying, all right, like those shockers, like the ability to kind of chip away at him. But you know what I need in this matchup is the ability to finish out of stock. I need to be able to get up in to your face and be able to close it out. And Ken's going to have better tools for that. And now you can see that it's a total shift psychologically on the side of Vendetta. Way more aggressive, way more willing to run in and then just scrap with Peeb right now. And I think that's exactly what Peeb wanted. Peeb wanted him to get off that Ryu. So now it's just a punishment game. Yeah. I'm with you as well. I do think that Peeb is happy about this. I think that he likes the Ryu a little bit better. All right, a little bit worse, I should say. Those shockers he didn't have a very good answer for, other than, again, just some finesse and some great Mega Man tech. 
uh, keeping Peep not really alive in this one, or at least in the lead in this one. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we're seeing right now is that Vendetta is finding a way to capitalize on a stock. Oh my gosh, what a conversion from Vendetta right there. Not too often we see him closing out stocks with the F smash right there, but a very, very tactical setup from Vendetta there. Yeah, it really was, as again, Vendetta now with the lead, looking towards the middle of the stage, just pressured that shield so low here. Can drop the metal blade off stage, and he does get the spike on it. The knuckle is going to be able to hit, and that's a second spike coming out from Peep Nut in this set. And here's the leaf shield yet again. We've talked about how it can be a deadly tool in this matchup, or at least one that prevents so much uh, that Vendetta wants to do as Peep Nut looking to try to get past uh, this wall that is Kid towards the ledge. Can't get hit by anything here. You're getting close again to that range where Ken can just kill you. Yeah, and the one thing that Vendetta has been doing extremely well is just setting up the options where Peeb has to essentially aggress in, and Ken is now anti-airing Peeb, not rather than the other way around. Vendetta still hasn't been sent to the air yet, and we know that's been the win condition so far for Peeb, and pulling the trigger a little too early on the shore, you, Vendetta says, let me show you where that came from yeah. originally. Yeah, he gets him with his own DP right there, but here we go, Leap Shield again into a combo that Shoryu's not going to get the, the kill just yet. Metal Blade, though, just a little bit more chip damage as Peep takes the middle of the stage here. Looking towards the edge, wanted that knuckle, just barely missed it. This time waiting on the air shooter just a little bit longer, and he baits out the focus punch, is able to hit the air shooter up through it and get yet another stock with that up air. Peep is just on a combo rampage right now. It has been He has been exploiting Vendetta for going high so consistently. Almost might have been. Vendetta saw his life flash before his yeah, eyes there tough. off stage. That is a scary situation to be in, but now Vendetta creating a small wall of those aerials to just keep Peeb out. And this is a pretty tough situation to be in. When you're pinned into the corner against Ken, any errant option can lead to death. It definitely can here, and Peeb not trying to rack up the percentage, trying to keep the stage control. Has to be very careful with it. Doesn't have a ton of rage on him. Does get the read on the roll away. Peeb has got the DI, but he doesn't have the life left in him, and Vendetta. The switch to the kid works out, takes game number three here, and keeps his get, uh, bracket alive. But not to be, not to put the hamper on this show. You now have to win two more on Peeb's counter pick. Yes. Now we haven't seen many people deviate from PS2 thus far in this winter semis run, but I guarantee Peeb does not go there. And off to town we go. Town and city, it is going to be. This is going to be interesting, actually. I, you know, I think that if you are, yeah, I see this both ways, right? I was like, oh, but those those uh, air shooters might not kill off the top as easily here. But on the converse side of that, Shuriken is going to kill a little bit later because of those higher ceilings. So I think that you take that trade off here a little bit defensively and trusting yourself to just continue to try to win this neutral and win these uh, exchanges. The other thing that we don't that we haven't seen necessarily coming out from Peeb is the back air and the forward air. We only saw one or two kill setups on the side of Peeb with those options. It's normally off the top using the air shooter, like you said. But by condensing this stage and bringing the sides in, those options become a lot more lethal when he's able to set up those yeah. landing options. They definitely do here is now Pete Nutt trying to set up this wall, baby. Coming in and around, dropping the metal blade, seeing if he can get any kind of combo started as Vendetta continues to just pressure. Just walking up menacingly, waiting for the option. He does find something here, but he can't quite find the conversion. Hadiken goes wide. And the other thing I just want to hint on as well is while Vendetta is able to swap between the two Shodos to try and kind of stagger Peeb's game plan, this is all Peeb has. Peeb is a Mega Man master. So when it comes to a counterpick, you can pretty much only expect a Mega Man gameplay or some type of adaptation on the side of Peeb. Good pressure comes into the corner, but the roundhouse cleans it up. That it does. Good little combo and jab there as Peep Nut. You know, again, we thought that he would like the switch to the Ken, but so far Ken has been kind of like his kryptonite today. His only loss earlier to Jazu on the Ken. Now losing his first game here against Vendetta on the Ken and down a stock here uh, in game number four uh, against Vendetta's Ken. Just barely missed timing that back air, and that's what we were talking about, how he's going to try and look to close those stocks off the side rather than using his air shooter to kill off the top. Vendetta just racking up so much extra credit, Shope, and this is a pretty perilous position to be in if you are Mega Man. You want to try and get at least a back throw or some other type of forward or back air that can at least kill Ken off the sides relatively quickly. Yeah, or get caught into yet another down tilt conversion. 
as Vendetta here has found some second wind and some second life, man. He's starting to get these stocks very easily, and Peanut looking a little bit lost in this matchup in game four. Yeah, it almost seems like Vendetta's new approach of Ken almost throwing caution to the wind and just recklessly running in has started to pay off. That he hasn't been able to find a solid footing and develop a strategy to shut down this offense coming out on the side of Vendetta. No, he hasn't, but you're going to see that Mega Blaster does get the, the first stock here. You've got a long road to hoe if you're peeping up, but you got to get to work if you want to get it done. So Leaf Shield comes out, racking up some percent. That's a nice little combo string going, gets him to the platform. That's exactly where he wanted him, but does miss the air shooter to try to get that follow-up. And Peeb just trying to find any way to get at least some stage control in neutral and force Vendetta to make these air dodges to the ground where Peeb can cover that option. We see the dash attack covering out very well right now. Peeb's taking minimal damage and still racked up a ton of percent. This is the type of slow play that Peeb needs to keep enforcing onto Vendetta to bring him back into this game. Get back throw could have come out right there. Peep not towards the edge of the wall. He does get the back here, the ledge trump, and Peep not right back into this one. It was down two stocks, and now only 71% separates them. Now we say that like it's not a lot, but again, we're talking about Ken here. He can kill from this percent pretty easily. He gets a little bit of rage on him. So Peep not still a long way to go, but can he get there? Vendetta trying to force a game five, takes the stage control here and comes to the ledge. He's gonna be looking for that sure you does try to find it, but it's gonna instead be a combo coming out for Peep as he gets it going yet again. Couple of air shooters. Can he ride him off the top of the stage? Not quite yet, but we're back to dead even, Ducks. Back to dead even, and Peeb is going back to that game plan that's won him game one and two. Show force Ken into the air and get that air dodge. He playing a very patient game out of this corner right now and waiting to find oh, any of those the grab. Open. But the miss on the grab, and Peeb barely dies out off that town and city counter pick. What a rally on the side of Peeb Nut. Yeah, that was a huge rally right there. And you could just see the Mega Man hand came and just with the shirt again was so close. I think those that hurt box and that hit box were just, this, I mean, like basically uh, touching, but not quite there. And Peep Nut misses the grab. Immediate conversion from Vendetta right there. He's not going to miss very many of those, if any. Hey, and gotta, he forces a game five. You got to turn up the heat right now. That oil's getting a little bit cold, man. Yes, he was right. cooking it earlier, is. but. Yeah, we're, we're using day old oil right now. You got to mix it up, <laughs> but I think we're getting a change on the color just a little bit, or he may have been orange in the last he, he was, and this is what we were talking about earlier, yeah. where he's, he's going with this color scheme to kind of blend into that background. I don't know if it's necessarily his intent, but it does make him a little bit more difficult to see, and he taking a much more aggressive stance in this game so far, Show. Yeah, he is. He's, he's peppering away again, racking up a little bit of percentage. It's aggressive, but it's it's, it's kind of passive aggressive, right? Because it, it's mm -hmm. still, again, very projectile based. It's still not super committal, but he is starting to throw out a lot more hitboxes than he was in, in games uh, three and four. Yeah, the other thing I guess I would look at here, when I say it's more aggressive, it's just like you said, he's using his projectiles and almost his presence of doing nothing to anticipate what Vendetta wants to do defensively. Yeah. Great call out on the focus there, there and closes out the stock without touching a zero to death from Peebnut. Yeah, my lord, he, he's doing really well right now. But finally, again, you get a little bit of damage on him. You're Vendetta. No JV's here going to happen. And I, I don't imagine we're going to get one at this point in the bracket either way. <laughs> a man can dream, though. Uh, as I think the Metal Blade ca ca canceled out that Hadiken as mm -hmm. just laying on the ground right here. But a couple of pellets coming out. A couple of air shooters here yet again. We've talked about it. The, the running him off the top of the stage has been the success for Peepnut, but it is difficult to get Ken up in the air like that. I do like the use of the rush there to get out of that situation where Pe where Vendetta is chipping away using that down tilt to try and hammer at your shield. It's, it shows how slippery Peep is when he does decide to commit to his movement options. Yeah, it definitely. He is very, very slippery here. As again, he comes in close. Leaf Shield's going to come up just to continue to rack up that percentage. Looking for these air shooters again, hoping that you're going to see Vendetta come in with a little bit of a jump, but he's not going to do it. Mega Master Buster just coming up a little bit short here. As he goes for the dash attack, I think he wanted to shore you there, if I'm being honest with you. I think he misinputted, but either way, he's going to take the chip damage and continue to rack it up. I like how methodical he was playing, and 65% yeah. Vendetta on his last stock of his loser's life. Not enough. He still survives. That sure you definitely wasn't enough. 
The one thing I've noticed right now, Shope, is how Peeb is playing around these platforms to force Vendetta to commit and get some option. You can see he's constantly hopping away and using these lemons and pellets to try and keep Ken at an arm's length. So he has these options, these fastballs jumping away, the aerials connect, finally loses the stock. So, but Peeb gets a new leaf, lease on life, two stocks to one, and this is exactly the spot Peeb wants to be in, in game five. Yeah, this is exactly the spot that he wants to be in here as, again, running him across the stage, racking up that percentage, staying away himself. Uh, with this stock lead right here, again, you don't have to worry too much about putting that rage onto the Ken because you've got that stock uh, to save you if you do get hit by one of those big combos. You do want to try to avoid that, but right now it's all about getting that damage on to see if you can finally get him into that kill uh, kind of percentage. Well, you're getting really close right now. He sends him off stage, 114. Oh, Crash Bomb is going to land into a Flame Sword, and that's going to be the stock and the set. Vendetta does his best to bring it back down 2-0, almost completes the reverse sweep, but instead it is going to be Peebnut here who plays the clean.